was born in York. I was born in up Bradshaw Hill. Well, Dad was a good footballer. He played in the York Senior Football Club for years. And I wanted to be a good footballer. And uh, we, we made our own footballs out of when, when we were kids. We uh, made them out of old clothes, you know, and sock, uh, shirts and rags and whatever was there. You finish up with a sleeve of a shirt or an old Guernsey sleeve or something like that tied at each end. You kick the ball just the same as an ordinary ball because it didn't bounce to you or anything like that. You had to get down and pick it up. But uh, no, it was my ambition really to uh, follow in the, the footsteps of Dad and the rest of the family as far as football was concerned. He was one of the first ones to, you know, from his family that ever played for league football. He came down to Perth in 1932. Well. Actually, 1934, but he used to travel backwards and forwards to York to come down to play football. I can remember him telling me that he never did training with the team at the beginning. He always trained by himself up in York or with the, the other guys that came down as well. We used to live in Mount Lawley or opposite the East Perth um, station there, and uh, or the Mount Lawley station, I think they call it now. So um, it was sort of just a very stone throw from the... Uh, from the football field. I remember him um, coming home telling mum that he has to go into the army and uh, I think my mum sort of, you know, finished up having a little cheerful time at, the, at that time. When he got into the army we had to um, go to the country, you know, for so many months before they send him overseas. And he finished up in New Guinea. Because when he came home from the war, I mean, he gave me big cuddles and he used to, I used to curl up in his lap and go to sleep on his shoulder and he used to carry me into bed. Now I was 11 then, but he used to carry me into bed, I think to try and catch up on all the years that he was away. I was later on in life. I came in after the football career. As he got older, after mum passed away, that's when a lot of the um, talk about football came along. So I discovered in the cupboard, uh, the sideboard, all these clippings that mum had kept. Then I started doing family research and that's when I started looking into his football career as well and discovered that, hey, my dad played 206 games. I was small, there's no doubt about that. He used to tell me that uh, he used to cheat with football, but whether that was true or not, I don't know, but he'd put his head down and of course he'd get a free kick because they'd say it around the neck. He was a very good footballer, yes. Everybody thought the world of him and as I say, the relatives just thought he was wonderful. He was strict with us. But if you were in trouble or if you needed a hand, you only had to ask him or if he saw you wanted to help, he would be there. If he wasn't playing a sport, he was doing something around the home, yes, always. So he was in competition with all his brothers and I think he just wanted that little bit. I mean, we all got that inside of us. We always want to be that little bit better than the other person. But I think the most important person he wanted to impress was his dad. I think we were pretty proud of what dad achieved in his life. Only forever that's putting in.